There are calls for an urgent scheme to help parents employ nannies if they can't access childcare. Families in regional Queensland say the pilot program is an expensive failure. Bandana Station is tucked beneath the Carnarvon Ranges in central Queensland. It's 250 kilometres from a major town, but there's no escaping the morning rush. Jack, what did you want on your bread, mate? Do you want peanut butter and honey? Jack. Olivia Evans' four-year-old son Jack has autism. You boys ready to go? And a talent for avoiding his daily deadline with distance education. Hey, hey, don't ride into Molly. Come on. Keeping him and two-year-old Thomas occupied is a full-time job, one she juggles with her tourism business. I try to get as much as I can done late at night if I'm doing emails or something like that, but generally I just have to cope with Thomas in the day when I'm talking to people on the phone. That's why she wanted to be part of the federal government's new nanny pilot program. This is the first time ever that families have been offered some assistance for a nanny in their home because their working hours or the location in which they live just doesn't work for them to be able to access traditional childcare services. The federal government will allocate $246 million to approve service providers to place nannies with about 3,000 families over the next two years. But the Evans family won't be one of them. When I received the fees the next day, I was absolutely horrified. It's just absolutely ridiculous to think that charging nannies out at a minimum of 36.50 an hour is feasible, regardless of the rebate that you actually get. It's, it's absolutely not, not going to work. The family says they'd be paying more than $65,000 a year under the scheme because of their joint income, compared to 37000 if they hired a nanny directly. Lead away, boys. Thirty boys. If you've got to pay more money to get an experienced person, that's understandable. But you know the, the figures that they're talking are, you know, twice as much as what you might might have to pay somebody as a minimum wage. Nearby, the Tinknells farm cattle and crops south of Springshaw. The drought has hit them hard, and they're operating at a loss, which means under the nanny pilot program they should receive the higher subsidy, but they can't afford it either. It'd be forty-three thousand dollars a year, um, which, you know, if we worked it out at our income bracket, um, it's 86% of our income. Elise Tinknell is concerned that the government rebate isn't reaching country stations and is instead being diverted to the nanny providers. I expect that providers are passing through the overwhelming majority of the government subsidy. Well, I'm certainly concerned if people are finding that the end result of this program is more expensive than alternatives. But Queensland Family Daycare says it is charging the lowest possible fees. The organisation is trying to attract highly qualified nannies and on top of that it needs to cover the costs of home inspections, safety checks and administration. And families, it may need to consider increasing the subsidy. Families say the pilot program needs to be reviewed before the end of 2017. Two years is a long time to have so much money in, invested in it and then, you know, I guess wasted if it's not being utilised. I'll certainly be looking and listening and acting if need be. In the meantime, the Evans family will continue to muster support for an overhaul. Elise Edwards, ABC News, Carnarvon.